Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimatter Dimensions New Game Minus Minus video, episode 11, and it's not been actually long since last episode. I've just done some of the challenges, some of the more boring ones, like this one's just the same run, essentially, and these and the, these three are essentially just slower versions. It's not, not all that interesting. This one just, it, it makes it so that when you press M, it's almost like there's a delay in production. Some some of these may be interesting, like, and then of course the two new ones. But before I do that, I'm actually I was, in challenge four. I could get eighty five percent with to infinity with one antimatter galaxy. So I I think I can I I can get this just because I I really do think I can get this upgrade. So I I, I will turn auto buyers off just because. One of them is a galaxy auto buyer, and I can still just press M and everything. And I keep forgetting to do this. I can just buy these upgrades and production skyrockets. And also, I I think I only need just one galaxy to get to the current infinity, or like get to, like actually get to infinity, so I can like set up galaxy points as much as I want with like seven galaxies, like. I'm not sure how many galaxy points I'm going to try to go for, but it's definitely going to be a good amount of them. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get as many galaxies as possible. I have to be careful. I'm going to go six, because seven is just risky. Because it it just it is very risky to try to get, like, to get very close to infinity without actually getting there. So I'm just going to get six and get as many dimension boosts as I can I, I may even just use um like after pressing a few m's I'm, i may just press eight I, I think i can spam right now and yeah now i have to be more careful i think um yeah i i i, I can do three m's but it, it's you can't do it for forever so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna actually get 647,000 galaxy points. This is a this is a crazy amount of galaxy points that I think is going to be it's going to be possible to reach infinity with just one antimatter galaxy. So, here we go. We have a lot of galaxy points we're setting up and yeah, it looks like we're going to make it. It's, it's not even that hard. I can just I it can dimensional sacrifice and boom. Which means I get the achievement, I even keep my galaxy points, which is absolutely legendary. This is going to make everything extremely easy. I'm not only keeping my galaxy upgrades, I'm keeping my galaxy points. And this means that we're going to probably be able to get extremely fast infinities. I'm not sure what the, the amount of galaxies I'm going to want here is. I'm going for two and seeing how, how that works out, but... Like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. So, one, two, and then spam this until the crunch button appears. I think that's literally all I need. And there we go. That that's probably that was 13 seconds, which should make it extremely easy. We have we now have a million galaxy points. And I think that's what the, the cake means. I I think the cake means a million. It's gonna make it super easy. We can even do it with one galaxy. I'm not sure how how much that's gonna be. I'm only gonna have the auto buyer set to one galaxy. It's because I don't really, I don't really need anything else. Also, to, to help speed it up further, this may s slightly slow it down, but I don't think it's. I'm just getting this. You start with the seventh dimension unlocked. Should help because that's one fewer times. I. I I need to just, I need to click the button. So basically, I'm just gonna, just gonna try to speed run infinities here. And I think the, I'm, I'm, I'm getting galaxy points as I crunch. So this is, this is crazy. It's literally just a game of how fast can I spam the dimension boost button. That's literally the game. It's just how fast can I click a few buttons. That is, I can also I can I can have my I can have 
a finger hover over the C button so I can crunch. So you know, that that's what was that? That that was twelve seconds. I don't. I can't get it much lower than that, but the, it's, it's it's crazy fast. I can also get do some of these challenges without much trouble. This, this is the first one I'm gonna do. There are only six dimensions, which could be interesting, but really, since we keep all the galaxy upgrades, there's not much to it. it, it I, I do need 186 dimensions for this, which could be a little bit um, grindy, and now I need 276 dimensions, which requires spamming the boost button even more. Hopefully this is actually gonna be possible. I hope this, is, this challenge is possible. Actually, it looks like it's this is gonna be a hard challenge that I I, I can get 270 that which could be the savior and I'm gonna need every dimension boost I can get even with 1.5 million galaxy points and a ton of infinity upgrades this is not this still is not quite enough to actually get this challenge complete which it's crazy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna exit the challenge after galactic sacrificing. I did not expect this challenge to be so hard. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do eight, which makes um, the boosts and, and galaxies useless. I will need the fifth boost to unlock dimensional sacrifice, and it's just gonna be the, it's the usual challenge eight. It's gonna be super fast. And challenge eight basically make makes it so instead of boosting and like dimension boost and galaxy you just you just sacrifice when it's at a decent number and you spam that button for a while until you've made it to infinity that's i, I, I still, still have a ways to go actually i just need it's probably because of the dilation what 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 um dilation's nerfing here it's actually taking me a while to beat this challenge it's getting it's, it's getting faster and faster, but even with this, this is taking a long while. I'm just going to speed this up. Also, actually, one thing I'm going to do real quick here is go for how the anti-tables have turned. Just because it's sort of a hard achievement, and also I should probably turn off my auto buyers here. Especially the galaxy one. I'm, I'm glad that that one is, has been turned off. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to go for the highest dimensions. And then just... I, I can use the enter trick, but I actually... You know, it's, it's trying to make me look up stuff. Actually, I, I can just do it like this. I can do... First dimension's taking a little bit more. has more of a boost than some of the others. So I'm just going to do this like here. This should get me... Yeah, yeah there we go. It's an achievement that can sometimes be painful, and it does have a reward. It's, oh, it's actually stronger. It's 80%, 70%, etc. So it's instead of 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it actually does give a bonus to production, and now we can just reach infinity. Well, I mean, it, it's, it does... Yeah, it took a little bit of a while. I actually did it in, somehow did that in under 3 minutes. So that gets me this, this achievement. Dimensional sacrifices are a lot stronger. I barely even use them anymore. So this one's going to be a little bit interesting. Each dimension produces the dimension two below it, but I mean it, it's sort of the same same thing as as usual. But it's galaxies are far far more powerful. That that's the that's the part that's going to interest me. I don't know what it really means. Ooh, one point two five. Okay, I I see a galaxy. Yeah, this challenge must have. I. I'm already struggling to get galaxies. I can see why there's a, um, there's a need for this. Actually, this challenge could be impossible at this point. Even at this point in the game. I, it's, this is just going to be an even worse challenge 10. Even with, even with the galaxy buff. It's, this is not enough. Unfortunately. I wonder if we, if we, we can probably even do challenge 9. Which is like the notorious hard one. It's the the one that that is everyone's fear. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna do I wanna spam hotkeys because that, that's that's what I'm doing here. 
Uh, it's just <laughs> this is this this is this challenge shouldn't even be hard, honestly, because I mean it's sort of it could be tricky, but it it, it, it really I I don't think it's it's that hard with all the the buffs we have. I I am trying to get a good amount of galaxies, so I am, I am buying some stuff. I mean. Like tech speed, you can get. Actually, I'm just gonna spam one, and until we get enough. Okay, so we can get four galaxies without boosting at all, and it may take a while to get things going after we've boosted. So what I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just holding eight. Honestly, I, I, I. I I probably need some. I probably can get some of the auto buyers going just be, just because it like the eighth dimension auto buyer. That's really the only one I'm going to need. I'm just gonna buy max of it every so often. I just try to get as many dimension boosts as possible, and I think and I think this challenge will be easy, easily doable because it it it's slow, but it's. It, it, it's not it's not the worst I mean it, it does it, I and then I can do tick speed upgrades to get just a few more uh, of the I I may need more galaxies I'm not I'm not sure actually we can get we can get 138th dimensions from just tick speed upgrades with that so maybe we can start being more strategic at this point. I, I, I mean, I'm not sure if I need another galaxy. I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna try to just do it the nor the normal way, and hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna work out. That that's that's what I that's what I hope. Because we are we still are getting 130 eighth dimensions plus the tick speed upgrades. You get 140 here, so it, it it's definitely possible to get a good amount here. And I think I'm just gonna. Uh, on this run, I'm just going to be more careful. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to... 8, 7, and then 6, but be more careful. 5, 4, and just get more 8s. Um, 7, 6. I, I know 6 is a safe one. 5 just a little bit. 4 a little bit more until we get to this. 3... Because to get, we can get plenty of the threes. We can get two and one, and and that should should hopefully propel us towards towards getting the. Still, actually taking a while. Even with, I'm I'm literally gonna do I sort of want to do a seven just to like spam a seven six five for for three two one. But I know that's not the the best choice. I I am getting. Closer and closer to get to getting infinity here. I I, I do feel like I'm it, I am getting I it feel, feels like I am getting somewhere. Actually, once I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the enter trick because I don't like to just wait. The enter trick just I, I I do I do need to be careful with it. But basically, the enter trick just makes the purchasing of of upgrades a lot quicker, and I I, I don't I don't want to deal with just clicking it one by one, I, I, it's done. It's just click it one by one. So that, that that's where the enter trick comes in. We can get a few more of these. We can get a few. We can get a decent amount of the tick speed upgrades, and I think we should easily make it to infinity. I'm, I'm, I think I can now just do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and boom. Challenge nine complete. It took a while, but Really not the hardest challenge. 10 and 12 are the bad ones. I'm going to try the new ones, however. Per 10 multiplier is always 1 times, but product of dimensions multiplies all dimensions. So this is, like, interesting. This this is this reminds me of new game minus, minus, minus. It just because instead of the per 10 multiplier giving you the boost, it's, like, the... Pro it's... Based on like how many you've bought, you get a multiplier in all dimensions. So it's it gives you a, a burst of speed in the early parts of the run, but 
later on in the run, it's just, it's going to be slow. But I, honestly, it's this, this should be extremely, yeah, that, that was an extremely easy one. And that gives me Automated Dimensional Sacrifice. And this is all galaxy upgrades from the third column are disabled. And tick speed boosts, um, that's new game minus minus minus. That's not, um, give, or maybe just, I have no idea. I really have no idea what, why it's trying to reference tick speed boosts in this. Because, maybe it's, is it, oh, so it's a limited amount of tick speed upgrades. I should probably exit the challenge and then just try to go back into it. That's, I think that's the best, and I have only 308, um, Tick speed upgrade. So I'm, I'm gonna be try. I'm gonna try to get as many galaxies as I can first. It shouldn't even be that hard. I can get. I think I can get four instantly. And I think once I just boost a bunch, I, I think I don't even need any more. Honestly, I can just like buy a bunch of tick speed upgrades here. And okay, I'm gonna use the answer trick because I don't want. Well, I don't want to be stuck waiting. And there you go. That that was that was also an easy challenge. Which gives me automated galactic sacrifice, which I don't, I don't even need. So, and then I'm just gonna do sacrifice in the multipliers over 1,000. That, that's that's always a good. That's always one that, that is solid to get. And I can just I can just enable all the auto buyers at this point. Just the problem are these challenges. These are the bad ones. I have no. I I think. 10 is easier. I have more galaxy points, which, I mean, it, it does, it, it does make it easy. Oh, yeah, am I, am I auto, oh, am I, I'm probably auto galactic sacrificing. I do, I, this is something, I do not need automated galactic sacrifices. That, that is one thing I do not need. I'm just going to try to get a fast infinity here, just like as quick as possible. So, so, yeah, that's, um, actually, that might have not been the, the best. I'm just going to go for another one here. After spamming as hard as I can. Okay, big crunch. Just be a little bit better. And now now I can spam. I, I, I think this should be a few seconds faster. I'm also going to go over the C button. And that, what was that? That was uh, 10.46 seconds. So we, we are getting improvements there. It's not that good. I may try to grind some of challenge 10 off off camera. It's it's definitely it's easy to get one galaxy. Two is also relatively easy. It takes some boosting to get there though. Three I can get. It's it's a bit tricky to get, but it, or not tricky, but just like a bit difficult, but it's doable. I'm I'm definitely faster than before, but um, like I'm getting, I'm getting more boosts probably just because I have more galaxy points. But getting the fourth, I, I, the fourth galaxy, I think is impossible to get. And I, I am getting a decent amount. Actually, this, is, this is possible. Like right here, I'm, I'm 98% to to infinity, and I can get two dimension boosts. So this challenge is possible. And hopefully, hopefully the 12 is also possible. So this gives me Dimension Boost Auto Buyer, which, I mean, it really, I'm, I'm not sure how much I'm going to want on that. But I'm just going to go for this. This this is the really bad one. The one that's going to, that is going to take a long while. I, I hope that this is going to be possible. The, Challenge 10 was possible, which gives me hope, but this challenge, I, I only got to like 60 something percent to infinity. It's already reveals itself as hard once I can't get even, I can't even get three galaxies that that's, or I can't even get four galaxies in this challenge. I have no idea how this is going to be possible. Maybe when we get the fourth galaxy, it's going to be, it's going to magically get easier, but I, I doubt it. I could try to auto galactic sacrifice so I can I can get more here. It's it's I, it, I can get the next upgrade here a little bit. I'm just gonna wait for it. Okay, there, here here's the fourth galaxy. Maybe it does something. I do have a 1.85 t 
times tick speed multiplier, and that could make the difference. Maybe it's not. It's, it's not going to make the difference. Unfortunately, I thought it may make the difference, but it does not look like it's going to give me much out of it, unfortunately. Even with three rolls of achievements and getting a lot of this. I, I, this, this would be nice if I get that achievement, but unfortunately, the, challenge 12 is the big roadblock. I, I can't believe it's it's worse than challenge 9. Like, ch ch challenge 9 is supposed to be the one that just takes forever, but challenge 12 is being that challenge. I... This is the crunch. This is the big crunch challenge. I cannot break infinity before I beat this challenge, <laughs> but basically by definition, because if you go over here, you need to get the automated big crunch interval to see your one before to be able to break infinity. But before that, I need to be able to beat this challenge. So I'm I'm really not sure. I may just leave this offline for a very long time and. Maybe one of these upgrades is going to, like this upgrade, or I think one of the infinity upgrades is pretty powerful at doing this, and just more infinity points. I'm, I'm just going to hope for the best. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.